FSR 4 has been released a couple of months ago, but still there are some people that don't have the, the correct list or the entire list of FSR 4 games. And somehow the lists that were online weren't really updated and people didn't really know which games had support for FSR 4. And this is really important because people buying cards like the 9070 XT, the 9070 and so on, they want to know which games have support for FSR 4 in order for them to make the purchase. Well, they don't really want to purchase an AMD card if the game doesn't support FSR 4. Otherwise, they go to NVIDIA and they have the LSS4. So why go to AMD without FSR4 in this time of the championship? And that's why I'm making this video. This is like common sense. For you all guys to see how many games we have supporting right now FSR4 and some of the games that will come and some of the games that I'm 99% sure that will come. So stay tuned. And here we do have some of the available and upcoming FSR 4 titles, the other ones that almost everyone knows, like Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Warzone, Creatures of Ava, this, um, <laughs> Destiny, <laughs> Dynasty Warriors Origins, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, I tested these 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Space Marine as well, 10. I tested at least 10 of these games and FSR 4 performed quite well, definitely. And then we have featured games that support the AMD FSR, but these again, some of these are only with FSR, the normal FSR like Starfield that supports FSR 3 as of now, not FSR 4. But we do have a list of the games and this is one of the things, one of the best things that AMD did recently. But before, if you really want to help the channel, then I'm to the sponsor. These are the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. And after testing them for a while, I must say they're quite nice. These everyday buds deliver a pretty nice audio quality, active noise cancellation for those workout sessions at the gym, or simply to allow you to work with all the ambient noise. And don't worry because they're also IP66 weatherproof. And they also bring the multi-point connectivity option that lets you pair these earbuds with two devices at once. As you can see, we can have both my Samsung and my iPhone connected at the same time which is great. You can also choose them in several colors and tones like carbon black, forest green, royal blue, and you even have the rubber case covers if you want to. And on top of this, you have up to 32 hours of battery life and with Raycon's quick charge function, you can have 90 minutes of usage with only 10 minutes of charging. And you also have a 30 days happiness guaranteed return policy in case you just don't really like them. Use the link below or go to buyraycon.com ancient to get 15% off site-wide during Father's Day sale. But we do have a list of the games and this is one of the things, one of the best things that AMD did recently. Games with FSR 3, FSR 4, FSR 2, FSR 1 with CAS, ambient occlusion, variable rate shading, screen space reflection. So they basically have the list for all those games that have these AMD technologies. And considering FSR 4 just got released a couple of months ago, I must say that the, the support for FSR 4 is quite okay. I mean. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 33, 5, 7. So we have currently 37 games supported, but there are more because they didn't update the, the games that came with the 25.5.1 drivers. But we still have lots of games like Assassin's Creed Shadows, games that people play, Kingdom Come Deliverance with FSR 4 as well, Remnant 2 got updated as well, Smite 2 got updated, which is great, lots of people play this game. Games like The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2, The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion Remaster also got FSR 4, the same for Stalker, the Spider-Man games too. Now we also have Naraka Blade Point, Hunt Showdown, a game that a lot of people play as well. Thank you, kind sir. Now this is the full list of games supported when talking about the, um, the state of drivers right now, the 25.5.1. These are all the games supported and we're talking about. It's like 43 games or something. Now we have Sid Meier's Civilization 7 as well. And we have some others that weren't there before, like Predator Hunting Grounds, Ghost of Tsushima, Everspace 2, Fort Solis, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide, The Finals, a game that, that a lot of people play as well, Influx Redux, Redux, Influx Redux, and now F1 2025. So we do have a lot of new games, like 40 something games, and AMD said that by the drivers, by, by June 5th, that we would have 60 games supported and way more games are coming and believe me, some of them are some of those that you really play. I have the list of those games here, of course, uh, but I can't really show it. But yeah, I'm looking at them and I can tell you right away that yeah, most of these games, uh, 
definitely you play them you play them a lot so it will most likely be a delight for you guys that love to use fsr because you will have fsr4 soon very very soon now one of the games that wasn't listed and people have been asking and complaining a lot is cyberpunk 2077 and people are correct the implementation of FSR 3 is a complete mess, and when I say com a complete mess, it is really, really a complete mess. To the point there where FSR 2.1 implementation is actually better than the 3.0. That's how much of a mess it is. But we did see a post that Frank Azer did on X, where he was meeting with some people from CD Projekt, and believe me, the game isn't really on that list, I can tell you that, but I'm like 99% sure, like 99% sure that we're gonna have an update soon and Cyberpunk 2077 will feature FSR 3.1 and will be upgradable via drivers to FSR 4, like 99% sure, believe me. And there are also some very interesting games that will come, so yeah. FSR 4 will definitely be with the 60 games in June 5th, which is great considering, again, it just released a couple of months ago, so that's, that's great. So again, if you were looking for the list of games, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Incursion Red River, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, Bell Wright, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, Remnant 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Crystalla, Sid Meier Civilization 7, Call of Duty Warzone, Marvel Rivals, a, a, lot, a game that lots of people play, Smite 2, the same exact situation, Creatures of Ava, Marvel Spider-Man 2, I played the game, the whole game with FSR 4 and believe me, it works very well in Spider-Man 2, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, Dynasty Warriors Origins, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, The Axis Unseen, Inotria The Last Song, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Remastered, also works very well in this game, Fragpunk, Mecha Warrior 5 Clans, The Last of Us Part 1, Funko Fusion, Naraka Blade Point, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, again, also works great there, God of War Ragnarok, Nightingale, Until Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition, No More Room in Hell 2, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2, another game where it works very well, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered, Panic Core, Hunt Showdown 1896, and in Hunt Showdown it works really, really well. Compared to FSR 3.1 inside the same game, it is, uh, it is entirely different, just an entirely different world, much better quality, much better stability, so, so much better, really. We also have Ghost of Tsushima, Predator Hunting Grounds, Everspace 2, Fort Sol is what I tested on this video as well, and it works very well. Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide, The Finals, Influx Redux, and the last one is F125. And well guys, that's all for this video. Today is a really short video, I just wanted to give you the list of the FSR 4 games that we have right now. Some hints, because I can't really tell you which games will come, but some hints of the games that will come, and again, there are some really big multiplayer games that will have some of the most played games in the world that will have FSR 4, and that's a really, really good thing, especially for AMD if they want to really sell their cards. And yeah, I just wanted you guys to have the list in order for you to consider your purchase or not. And if you have the cards, just for you guys to see how many games on, or in which games you can use FSR 4, because I believe that's important to have an updated list. By the time that the 9060 XT releases, and by the way, there will be a review on this channel, I can tell you that there will be more games, around 60 games supported, and by that time, I will remake this video in order to give you the full list with updated games, and by the way, there will be a lot of new games with support for FSR 4, so again, stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really means a lot, and see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,